Okay, excellent. And so now we have still seven minutes left, which is excellent. Uh, because I would like to show one last experiment for today that has also something to do with um, series and voltage connections, uh, series and parallel connections. So um, for this, I have brought uh, a nice light, Christmas lights, light chain, fairy lights. I don't know how you call this. And I will dim the light a little bit so that you can see the lights. And uh, what I've also brought is a device like this. This is some, um, some voltage probe that works capacitively. Um, so if you switch it on, then it's blinking red. And usually it should also make some noise. Um, and with this, you can, um, and unfortunately, I don't have a cable. I have a cable here. So with this, you can measure voltage on cables. And I don't know why it's not. Usually, it's also making beep. Um, so now it's switched off. Okay. It's, it's, it does not make any noise today, but I don't know why. So there's this. Cable is connected to the power outlet. There is some voltage on this cable. I'm able to measure the voltage here on this cable. That's the idea. And um, I don't know if the camera will show this, but you should more or less be able to see it here in the room. So we have the power outlet here. And one of the two terminals um, is connected to the neutral. So there's no voltage, almost no voltage there. I could put my finger in there, nothing would happen. And the other one is the live wire. The other one, there is the voltage. If I put my finger in there, I would possibly drop that. So I could check that this side is the dangerous side. It's lighting up here. The other side is the safe side. I could put my finger in there, nothing would happen. Okay, so with this device, you can find voltages. And my camera is is lost, but now my camera is you who is finding me again. Okay, so now there, there should be a voltage here. So I can check. Okay, there's also voltage. There's also lighting up here. And I can try to zoom in. Yeah, maybe I should I should go back with zoom. Um, yeah, so this side is the dangerous side. This side is the safe side. Nothing happens here. Okay. And there's also some voltage here. And the usual problem that you have if you study electrical engineering and if you go home on a Christmas vacation and your relatives know and your friends and your family know Hey, you study electrical engineering. I have a broken Christmas light thing here at my home. You study electrical engineering, you need to fix it uh, because you, you study such stuff. And so the usual problem is that one of these lights is, uh, is broken and they are just all connected in, in series. So if I remove one of these lights, they will all go out. And usually you don't know which is the light that is not working. And so what you usually do is you one by one remove all the lights, measure them if, it's, if it would still work, and then you need to replace the, the light that is broken. And it's a very tedious and cumbersome task to find the broken light because you usually don't know where it is. So now this device comes in very handy because as I've shown and demonstrated, this can be used to find voltages. And so, unfortunately, I cannot show the power uh, outlet here because it's behind the desk. But from the power outlet, I get two cables. And one of these cables, this one here, this is where the voltage is. This is the live wire side. Hey, you are broken. <laughs> Don't. Yeah. And so, once again, this is the live wire side. 
and this is the this is the safe side. Nothing happens here. And so now what you can do is you can you can take this and go along the cable and at the position where the light is broken, you have the whole voltage drop because this is the, the, the broken light is the open circuit. Here you get the whole voltage drop, the whole 20, 230 volts of the cable. So if I go along this, no voltage here, no voltage here, no voltage here, still no voltage, still no voltage, still no voltage, still no voltage, nothing happens, nothing happens. Now I come to the broken light and here the thing switches on. So this, this is the, the trick to find the broken light very quickly because here you have voltage you have no voltage anymore. So the whole voltage drop of the power uh, outlet is at this light bulb. This is a broken one. So you replace this one. Uh, the fairy lights will light once again and Christmas is saved. And you are the, you are the successful engineer that, uh, yeah, that repaired this, this light bulb um, for your family. This is what I would like to show. Um, so yeah, you just need to have one of those um, and it's, I don't know, it's about 20 euros, 20 euros, exactly. So, so, something like this, you can buy it at any uh, department store or, or Home Depot or so um, that, that has one of those.